All right, hello, and welcome to <coughs> another episode of Half Moon Bay. We're at uh, episode six, it looks like, and we're almost at 40 million. I let the simulation run, like I was saying afterwards, um, after the last podcast, or after the last broadcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we have, you know, almost 40 million dollars. Which should be plenty to rebuild, and um, I think we're gonna start demolishing here, and we'll start with the uh, with this stuff. And in fact, we'll turn all this to export. And then we'll just start demolishing from back here. And more deletions. Since we're uh, exporting everything, we'll probably get over our 40 million. And hopefully by the time we get to daylight, we'll be all demolished and ready to rebuild in the daylight. There we go. And we should probably fill that area with trees. Uh, not that I can see it. But I know that most of this is pretty empty as far as trees go. So we'll just generously fill it in. And looks like there's a little bit of zoning over here. Ah, there's a little light. Now we can make sure that this is nice and filled in. Back to bulldozing. It's just rampant destruction. Thank you. 
little bit more. And then we'll take out these parking rides. And that should be just about everything. And then I do want to fill this in with trees. And actually we can just demolish this. I'm not sure where our money is coming from. Apparently we're losing money from a mega tower that's not even there. So... I'll slow down time because I don't want to stop it because the mega or the, the trees take a second to grow in. Maybe I can do it. At, yeah, two speed works really well. Once we get this all filled in with trees, we'll get on with the construction. I just basically want to clean up some of this pollution as we, you know, do construction and stuff in the game. In fact, maybe we'll speed this up to three and we'll, we'll wait a day so that these trees all have a chance to grow in and start doing their job. Almost there. And then we'll let this cycle through the night, and then we'll start building as soon as the day comes in. I think we're pretty well filled out for trees here. Make sure we cover any areas that aren't completely covered. Should be good. And then we'll just let that speed through to daytime. <coughs> I'm not sure how I'm losing money on a mega tower because, you know, I don't have any mega towers, but <laughs> whatever. And I'm thinking first I'm going to, in fact, we can just do this now since I can see it. Um, we're going to first do it with, uh, or first, you know, basically build off of our um, mass transit here with our boat. Oh, I, I, I can't do it yet because I have to put in City Hall. I forgot about that. So here we can actually do this because I want, I'm going to want this to come out some, and the same with that. So over here I will build the city hall. So that way I can build some of the stuff that I need to build. And there we go. 
Now I think we're just gonna have one of these because it's just gonna be for people. Maybe we should do two. If I do one here and one here. Yeah, because this is just gonna be for residents. We'll put the little, these little things on them. So we're not gonna put the, because uh, we're not gonna have any tourists, so we're not gonna need the cruise ships. All right, now we're in daylight. And is that really like the edge of my, maybe that's the edge of my map here. Where's my, there's what I'm looking for. There we go. Oh yeah, so that's, that's why. Because I can't. Um, so let's go, oh yeah, let's go back to this speed. No speed. <laughs> and fill some of this in. I guess that works. And then I'm going to put... I think I can fit two. Yeah. Perfect. So then let's build our, uh, our things over here. Hello, Magnus. Welcome. Let's see, and I think we're going to have this be dual direction or, you know, normal high density street. But I will curve the corner here. There we go. And we will put our, this thing, our garbage dump. Let's see, what if we put it right here? then we can put one of these on this side and we can fill this area with this and that and I guess we can put uh, I just can put the other one over there There. And in fact, I don't think we'll, act we'll actually need this one. Now I also want to put one of these in, but I think I want to put it on this, this road over here. And we'll do two plastic and two alloy. Since that's the type of stuff that we'll have. Because we're just, you know, we're setting this up for our electronic stuff. Here. And we'll put some more of these over here. Perfect. Now I'm thinking I can fit some stuff in here if I do. 
something like this. Then this. Can I fit all three? Oh, I can. See, that would work perfect. There we go. And we can fit another processor factory in here, but I'm not going to be able to fit enough attachments. However... Uh, that's not what I wanted. No, we want the trade depot down here. And I think we're going to put the... Electronics HQ right up here. So that in this little space over here, we can put these things. See, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit both. Dang. Um, Alright, let's just put one here, and we'll put one here. Or we can even put one here. There we go. Yeah, that, that'll work a little bit better. <coughs> So then down here, we need to actually take these out. There we go. And then we can put more trucks in if we need. Not that I think we'll need to, but we, we can. Then I think on that you know, flipping around this way, we can do one of these here, and it can be TVs. And then let's put the other one right up against the other side. Oh, and this TV one doesn't need alloy. This one won't need plastic. Because it's going to be... Computer plant. And there we go. I'm going to take another road straight across here. And put in... If I can remember where I'm going here. <laughs> put in a processor factory. In fact, maybe we'll put it right up here. Yeah, let's put it right up here. There we go. That's going to be our little money-making center, as well as take care of our trash and all that good stuff. <coughs> and I think we're going to try to relegate the um, industrial down here as well. I think we can take this end off. And I do know we actually, if we're going to have buses in the city, which we are, we're going to want those. And then we're going to want to do the same thing over here. There we go. for now. Then let's figure out where we want to do our trade port thing. I 
I think we actually are kind of have it right where I want it anyway. Oh yeah, we should put the... I guess we can put the trade HQ like right up here. Kind of like that. Just a big line of buildings like that. <laughs> <coughs> then this can go here. Yeah, probably just right at the end. There we go. And we'll need alloy and plastic processors. Let's fit one of these in. So we did processors, so then computers and TVs. And we will export, export, import, import. There we go. Now the rest of this we we, we can fill out with um, industrial as we go. And in fact, I can take this road back to, oh, all the way right back to there. Cool. Something's... <laughs> Something's right there. I'm not sure what. I bet if I move time, it'll go away. Yep, there it goes. There we go. Okay, so now the other thing that I want to do is trains. So I think I want to have a train track come right back here to serve both um, you know residential or you know people and uh, and freight so let's do that I think I want it to just kind of come right across the back here And we can do the freight like right over here. And then where can we put the train station? Oh, well, we could put it like right here. And then have a road come off of it this way. Yeah, that'll work for now. I mean, I'll, I'll obviously figure something else out, but... In fact, we can do this. And then probably... That. Oh, come on. There we go. A little bit of a weird gap, and maybe I can close it here. I 
wonder if I moved just a little bit up here. There we go. Then we can stay on the ground. That looks much nicer. Then, how do we want to hook this in? Let me see here. If we take this just straight over, I gotta see where the road comes in. Or where the <laughs> train comes in, as it were. So I don't want to just go straight down like that. What I should actually do here is a loop. Um, like this. I want my guides. And I want it right here. This will take up a little bit of room, but it'll look nice and whatever. I can get rid of it later if I don't feel like I like it. There we go. I suppose I could actually do this and make it worthwhile. Why does this do me? Well, what if we do... I can't think of anything. <laughs> can do that. And that's about it. But we're going to want park and rides. Or at least a park and ride, like right there. And I suppose we can actually do this too. Extend this across this way some. Actually, not what we want. We want it raised up a little. Um, there. Okay, now we have some reasonable mass transit going on over there. 
Let's start working on the freeway. So we're definitely going to need something to come back this way. And we're going to need something to come in here. <coughs> or either a actually one of those needs to be in and one needs to be out. Get rid of this for now. And all right, I think we're going to keep this part elevated. So, yeah, so we need to split. We need to first split this using this. And let's see, we have this one going this way. It actually looks pretty good. And turn this on. Oh, it's not going to help us. Okay, so we want this other one even closer. Maybe a little bit closer than that. There we go. them being relatively the same distance there, we should be good. So then, we want to do the elevated two-lane. Hey, Max D. Larson. Yep, I certainly do know that. I've known it ever since I started pot or started you know doing streams and everything. So this is going to be an elevated one. That should do it. Hey, true W, <laughs> true truer WB. Ah, for some reason that seems harder hard to say, but I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. And I think we need about that far for a transition here. Okay. There we go. And wait, four lane. True, oh, true RWB. Yeah, see that makes it a lot to say, <laughs> a lot easier to say. <laughs> There we go down and going up. All right, start of a freeway. Now we need to start this side. So basically, what I'm going to do here is people coming through the city can just kind of ride over it, or you can get down onto the main city street or city freeway, I guess, and uh, and do it that way. We'll see how that goes here.
So now we need to get this road in. All right. We have, let me make sure I'm thinking right here. There we go. This side is coming in right about here. Nope, oh, closer to the center. There we go. And then this side. A little farther. Maybe not quite that far. There we go. There. And then... We'll get this one going on. Back it off two with the ramp. Okay, so maybe back it off three. Yeah. Going down. And going up. Cool beans. Freeway going there. Now let's extend the freeway. And I'm going to have to go the wrong way for a minute here. And then replace it with the correct way. There you go. Oh, hey, Mr. Rodderman. One, uh, One Way Streets is a mod. It's an offline only mod, and it's by Xoxide. Imagine that. He's an amazing guy. <laughs> it's called the Udon Network, U D O N, uh, for unidirectional road network. I don't know where the R comes from or goes. Maybe they just use the O from road. <laughs> so what I need to do here now is figure out good distances. Because I th I'm sure I can like just connect these streets. Here. Get, if I can find the right thing. Um, yes, Mr. Rodderman, it's on Simtropolis. In fact, I'm sure it's one of the top three mods right now. At least it better be. Because I love it. So this one, where's our road here? So many roads now in the menu. This one goes here. Why can't we intersect? Oh, because we can only make a curve. Is that what is that what the problem is here?
Man, this, this is picky. Suppose I'm gonna have to do the same up here when I get there. I've gotten this before. That is close enough for me. <laughs> Go the wrong way here. But in order to go the right way. Now, of course, I don't like that corner like that. So we're going to have to balance it out. <laughs> Make a nice curve. And I think I need to use... Something like this, or no, something like this. I don't know. Is that a big enough curve? That should be big enough. So then I should be able to make a nice smooth curve. It seems hell bent on catching on that road. Or on the. Damn it. On that thing. Train tracks. <laughs> I couldn't think of what they were called. Still. Keeps wanting to make this weird bend. See, why does it want to do that? There. Still even did a little bit, but not, not nearly as bad as it was trying to do. Now we can put this back. Oh, because I, I planted a whole bunch of trees, Mr. Rotterman, after I... Uh, after I had the other city in there. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should work. Let's hope that it is as close as I want it to be. Not nearly. And I'm sure if I go back one more, it's going to be too far. Yeah. So I'll come up just a little bit. And we'll try again. Not out that way. Just straight. And then turn. How did I plant trees? They're um they're in the parks menu. Just go to the end of the parks menu. Plant forest. And take that and then just click everywhere. It takes a long time. <laughs> it's an annoying amount of time, but that's <laughs> that's how you do it. You know th these even I don't like the way that these meet. Maybe I can smooth that out just a touch.
Yeah, there we go. Well, Mr. Rotterman, you have to be playing on full speed. a little better. Okay. Also, when you look, there's a bunch of different stuff. There's plant forest. There's also the roadside trees. Those only go on the roads. These you plant wherever. Like, well, this is outside of my city boundaries. Um, I don't really have any places to show you, but because everything's all full, but you just plant. Click, 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 click. Whole bunch of clicking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you because that's exactly what I did. So. Uh, let's see here. Can we keep this distance correct? See, it wants to get wide going around there. So I think we need to come back just a little bit more. Let's try it right there. Come on. A little too close still. Damn it. Still. Come on. There we go. That's exactly what I want. <clears throat> so now we have a straight line freeway that goes all the way over. And one of the other things I want to do here is I want ground freeway. Um, and actually, I want the two lane freeway. Because we're going to have the one. Let's see, this one of these two lane freeways is going to come out of here. Why can't I intersect that? Oh, because I have to have. Yeah. One way. Well, whatever. It can be a high-density road. So this way is how people are going to exit to the freeway. Uh, I don't even want that. What I really want here is to do this. Where's my two lane freeway, ground freeway? And we're going to do it right here. One side going out, and the other coming in.
No, I need two lane ground to no wait, doesn't two I just need the two lane freeway ramp to go there. And uh there we go. Ah, get away go away guides. And then this needs to go into here. There we go. And then in order to go under there, I think we have to use the transition, right? Is this, wait, two lane, ground to elevated freeway, no. Yes, two lane, yeah. So we go like that, and then we hit the N key once. I want the guides back for a minute. Oh, I guess I can't have them back. So I'm just going to have to do this one basically perfect. Which that is not quite. Come on. <laughs> Trying to get this stupid thing in just the right spot. Oh, here, actually, this is what I should do. Um, two lane freeway. That'll make things a lot easier. And two lane freeway. And coming back. Okay. There we go. That's cool. Now we're gonna we're gonna want exits from this freeway to go down to these. Now, which ones do I want to do here? I'm trying to decide between. In fact, let's let's look at let me let me pull up some references here. Look at this other computer and we're going to Google for freeway, I don't know, freeway intersections. Sorry, just a second. I got to look at my phone here. No uh, work stuff. Work stuff is always funny, especially because, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna get into work stuff. I'm not at work. Are you at work? I hope you're not at work. Anyway, let me let me Google this stuff here. We're gonna want uh, four like a four way interchange. Images. Okay, that's perfect. What do I want to do here? Do I want to do a clover leaf or I kind of like this cross one? Of course, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. Um, oh, that one's cool. Kind of an oval. I like these double diamond type. Let me see this one. View image. Where is it? Of course, you don't have the image on that page. Yeah, of course you don't. 
Yeah, yeah, Mr. Rotterman, I'm I'm totally looking up real life freeways just to see what I want to use. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Open image and new tab. Is that the biggest the image is? Damn it. It's not helpful. Zoom, I say. Oh, okay, it's a rendering, so that that's actually that actually is helpful. Eh, that would be really cool. Okay. Damn. All right, I don't get that actually. That one doesn't really make as much sense as I thought. Let's see here. That one's kind of cool. It's like a whirlpool interchange. I just googled four-way freeway interchanges. Another terrible link. I'm looking here. There's some that are just like so crazy. I don't. I don't want to do that. But I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find one of these double diamond ones that I can actually see. has to work for me. This one looks like it might. No, that one no, won't really work. Because it requires a crazy weird intersection that I can't do. This is... Okay, that's basically what I'm trying to do, and I think I can do that. Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do. Figured it out. So... We're going to have... Basically, I think we're going to do this with one lane. Exit ramps, or regular ramps. Do I like that Google is buying Twitch? I don't know. I haven't... I don't know enough... You know, I, I haven't... used Google enough, I, I mean, you know, YouTube enough to, to know if I want to use that or not. Oh, and let's actually do this. We want two-lane up here. Two-lane freeway ramp. Then we're going to need a two-lane freeway ramp going the other way. Man, this is going to get this is going to get complex. So, I mean, not not extremely crazy, but it's going to be definitely a little bit crazy. 
which is fun, right? That make that makes for fun. So I'm wondering if I shouldn't have. Maybe I should actually do that. I want to change these to four lanes. It's a four lane freeway. Oh, that's right, because we can only do ramps. The rest of this, we can go to four lane. Oh, except that I don't want it raised either. Hmm, that actually is making me think here. Take this. Let's take this stuff out real quick here and move it a little bit. So I'm actually going to want it more like down here. And we're going to. Excuse me, and we're going to have this one come in like here. And this one goes this way. And then we're going to need two lane freeway ramp. And then I want one to go like this way, somewhere. Damn it, so close. That's close enough. There we go. No, there's there's one that's elevated and there's one that's on the ground. Position. There. Yep. 
Yeah, I kind of like having the the exit the Y exit there. You can do a similar thing up here. Uh, yes, exactly. The ramp has to connect the regular road to the freeway. So this is uh, another lower freeway, but it's based. The only reason it is a freeway is because it's going to have so much going on. Hey, comrade barnyard. Um, yeah, I'm I'm using the freeway mod here. Uh, I'm working with. Uh, I'm, I'm working on making this interchange here, but it's going to be interesting. Um, and in fact, I don't even know if I like this at the end. I may just have it go straight into something like this. But then I, I think, yeah, that's too close to existing intersection. Suppose we could do something like that. that there we go and actually damn it all right I keep changing my mind on this because I want this to be even shorter Now I get basically what I wanted. Now let's do this interchange here. We're going to need... How are we going to do this? We're going to need two... Yeah, we're going to need a two-lane ramp. Oh, yeah, we we would have to use the transition ramp there. But I won't need one underneath. Because I'll really just need one coming in. And, come on. not giving me the right snap points. There, that's the ones that I want. And then we need the transition to make sure that they're the same. same distance 
So it looks good. Why does it give me a roads overlap here? There we go. Okay. And then I think we're going to need same thing up top. Yeah, it looks like the same thing up top. Okay. Oh, and it looks like we're quite a bit over our hour mark. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. And in fact, we're going we're to call this an end of the episode, and I might come back with another one. Probably not tonight, though. I'm going to get ready for, uh, for um, North American Nerds in, in a couple hours here. So, um, Oh, yeah, I know that there are roundabouts, and... Um, I'll do, I, I don't think I need them right now, but uh, I'll work on that. But anyway, uh, what are you talking about, those two-way freeways? The point of having them is people go each direction, and traffic flows better. But anyway, um, I'm going to end this episode. I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, if you want to catch that live, go ahead and subscribe to my stream on Twitch. That's just twitch.tv slash tinbeck. Or, uh, you know, of course, you can always follow everything afterwards on YouTube at youtube.com slash tinbeck as well. Or there's, you know, I have a website that has all that information as well. It's just tinbeck.com. So until next time, enjoy and uh, build some cool stuff. I'll um, share it with me. See you guys later.